This k and air intake system is designed to increase power and acceleration by reducing restriction in the intake path. K&N 69-1018 TS Air Intake fits 2011, 2012, and 2013 Honda CRZ with a 1.5 liter engine. The 69-1018 TS Air Intake is not legal for highway use in California or other states adopting California emission standards. Check KNFilters.com for an up-to-date list of models this air intake fits and for a list of other carb adoption states. k and power testing showed an estimated power gain of 4.7 horsepower at 5,049 RPM with the 69-1018 TS air intake installed on a 2011 Honda CRZ with a 1.5 liter engine. Actual results will vary depending on the condition of the vehicle, mileage, weather, and other variables. With the air intake installed, we ran the vehicle on the dyno to test the sound comparison versus the stock intake. This intake system includes components that have been designed or matched to the needs of these vehicles to produce a safe horsepower increase. Detailed installation instructions are included with this kit. The tools needed for this install are shown. Turn off the ignition and disconnect the negative battery cable. Disconnect the mass air sensor electrical connection and unhook the wiring harness from the airbox. Remove the two bolts securing the fresh air intake scoop to the core support. Loosen the hose clamp that secures the fresh air intake scoop to the air box. Remove the fresh air intake scoop from the vehicle. The lower fresh air duct will need to be disconnected as the fresh air intake scoop is removed. Loosen the hose clamp securing the intake hose to the throttle body. Remove the two bolts that secure the factory air box. Remove the airbox assembly from the vehicle. It will be necessary to release the spring clamp securing the crankcase vent tube and hold the crankcase vent tube while removing the airbox. Can N recommends that customers do not discard factory air intake. Separate the lower intake duct from the fresh air intake scoop. Reinstall the lower fresh air duct onto the factory plastic duct. Be sure the engine is cool before performing this step. Be sure to capture any release coolant. Release the spring clamp securing the coolant bypass hose to the throttle body and the crankcase vent hose to the valve cover. Remove the bypass hose from the throttle body fitting, quickly plugging the outlet with a cap plug to prevent coolant loss. Remove the crankcase vent hose from the valve cover. Release the spring clamp securing the coolant bypass hose to the thermostat housing. Remove the bypass hose from the thermostat housing fitting, quickly plugging the outlet with the remaining cap plug to prevent coolant loss. Remove the bypass crankcase vent hose assembly from the vehicle. Be sure to capture any released coolant. Route the provided bypass hose through the factory retaining clip. Remove the cap plugs and install the bypass hose onto the coolant fittings and secure with the provided hose clamps. Be sure to replenish the captured coolant into the reservoir. Install the provided silicone hose onto the throttle body and secure with the provided hose clamp. Remove the two screws securing the mass air sensor into the factory air box and then remove the mass air sensor. Install the mass air sensor into the K&N intake tube and secure with the provided hardware. Install the provided 90 degree vent fitting into the K&N intake tube. Plastic NPT fittings are easy to cross thread. Install the vent fitting hand tight. Then turn it two complete turns with a wrench. Cut the provided edge trim into two sections. One section will be 11 inches long. The other section will be cut into a length of 42 inches. Install the 42 inch long edge trim around the heat shield. 
install the 11 inch long hedge trim into the hole of the heat shield. Install the provided L brackets onto the heat shield using the provided hardware. Install the flat bracket onto the heat shield using the provided hardware. Install the K&N intake tube into the heat shield and secure the mounting bracket with the provided hardware. Install the heat shield tube assembly into position and install the lower air duct onto the tube on the heat shield. Secure the heat shield to the factory air box mounting locations with the provided hardware. Then secure the intake tube to the throttle body hose with the provided hose clamp. Attach the provided crankcase vent hose to the valve cover port and then attach the open end to the 90 degree fitting in the intake tube. Some trimming of the crankcase vent hose will be necessary. Install the K&N air filter onto the intake tube and secure with the provided hose clamp. Reconnect the mass air sensor electrical connection. Reconnect the vehicle's negative battery cable. Double check to make sure everything is tight and properly positioned before starting the vehicle. It will be necessary for all K&N high flow air intake systems to be checked periodically for realignment, clearance and tightening of all connections. Failure to follow the above instructions or proper maintenance may void warranty. K&N makes products for nearly every vehicle on the road. The K&N website allows you to search products by vehicle or dimension. Download installation instructions. View dyno chart showing estimated horsepower gains for this product and view product details. For information on where to buy K&N products, go to knfilters.com.